Yo, I got so much stuff in front of me. We need to get into this testing newness video. I have a re-released palette from Nomad we'll play around with. I have some Bare Minerals, their new SPF concealer. You know I'm in my SPF era. Y'all know I'm in my SPF era. <laughs> I have the Fenty Beauty highlighter, some brow products from Benefit. Is that Benefit? Yeah. I have the setting spray from L'Oreal and some other stuff we'll play with. Yeah, we're going to get into it. Oh, a lip mask from Naturum. Naturum? I hope I'm saying it right now. Naturum. But before we get started, I want to say, hey, what's good? It's your boy Oneg. Welcome back to another video. Yep, another one. Um, if you're into makeup, soft makeup, everyday type of makeup, easy makeup <laughs> this is that place for you and i got some new products here so if you're into all of that definitely subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it comment down below let me know if you tried any of this stuff because i think there's some good stuff here and we'll get right into it let go y'all know i can't keep my mouth shut about this the Phyto glow lip mask from naturum I am into it big time. This is what it's looking like. Like, I've been really using it a lot. That's the, how it looks. I mean, you know, it's a lip mask. You know what it reminds me of? The Laneige, um, not their sleeping mask, their lip balm, their, like, lip treatment. That's what it reminds me of. I'm priming the eyes with a little bit of my Ofra eye gel primer it looks like it's coming a little old i guess a little dried up i need a new eye primer eye primer is dry and this is what we're gonna play with the nomad uh haunted europe palette this was their like halloween ish fallish halloween release uh two years ago now they re-released it so you can get your hands on it this is how it looks hopefully you can see the artwork really well here's the back of it this was one of my favorite palettes a few years ago it was in my uh favorites at the end of the year you know that type of thing yes yeah, so look at this grungy stunningness i love it i love it you know, I'm not a big eyeshadow person, but every now and then, I like to dabble. I like to dabble. This is my A11 brush from Morphe and Ariel. I'm going to dust a little bit of something on the eyes. I think I'm going to go into that Ghost River shade right there. You can see which shades I, I use and which ones I really didn't touch. I'm just going to dust a little bit of this in the eye area. The matte shade is just super smooth. It's just, it just blends itself out. Like, <laughs> so I think I'm going to use Highgate. Yeah, Highgate Cemetery. It's that shade right there. Grabbing a little with the pinky. Kind of like spotlight, you know, in the middle. But yeah, like I said, you can shear them out the shades. You can build them up. Uh, just an easy formula to, to work with. Like an easy, very easy formula. And they sent this to me and PR, you know, a few years ago. So we're going to play around with the Benefit Smoothing Face Primer. I know there's like an old one. A lot of people's holy grails, right? Um, yeah. So I got my primer brush. So yeah, it blurs the skin. Helps makeup sit on the face. You know, all of that type of stuff. We're going with the Soft Radiant Skin Tint from Sephora. Reveal the Real in shade 200N Medium. I shook it really well. Yeah. 
You always want to give a primer enough time for it to, you know, dry down, set itself, whatever it needs to do. I'm a BK Beauty 106 brush. It's foundation brush. The blend is out. I always end up putting a little bit more in the center. This is a beautiful skin tint. Definitely rivals some of the higher end skin tints. You get a skin tint, a light coverage moment, great lasting power, uh, sweat proof. Like when I be sweating, that shit lasts, man. Look at that. It looks like your skin, a nice natural finish. That radiance is just like, it's there, but it's not all the way there in your face. You know what I mean? Look at that. All right, Bare Minerals sent over their new concealer, the Bare Pro 16 Hour Wear All Over Skin Perfecting Matte Concealer SPF 25. I have two shades, medium deep, 400 neutral. They're both the same shade. So we're going to get into it. This says covers and protects skin. Um, correct skin over time for a matte finish. Yeah, just like their foundation. Yeah, I know I, I tried out the foundation. I'm just not a full coverage matte type of person. But I wanted to give this a try. You know what I mean? I love the frosted ba bottle though. It's really cool looking. Not cool, it's sophisticated, it's sophisticated. Holy crap, that might be too much. Hmm. We'll see. That's creamy though, wow. Okay, I have a Sephora Pro 71 brush, their concealer brush, they have a few. Mm-hmm, she's full coverage. Let me blend it out and then see what I think, you know? Mm. Oh, she's full coverage. And I don't like that undertone. I don't know. I. Uh, mm. It looked crazy on me. Very warm yellow, I think. Let me use my sponge. This sponge is amazing. It's from Sonia Cashew. It's selling in Target, I think. It's full coverage, though. I feel like it looks green on me. I feel like it, it, it looks a little green. I don't know. I blend it out. Let's continue with everything else. Let's keep it moving. I don't know about that. It's thick. It's very thick. It's full coverage. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I wanted to give it a try. Just, you know, I'm going to keep on going. I have this new powder from Benefit that I'm going to use to set. This is the new uh, Blur. What is it? Power Powder Matte and Blur Loose Setting Powder. It's in translucent. They only have one shade. So, grabbing some on my puff. Which is a Tati Beauty Puff. I'm going to set under eyes and T zone. 
in honor of Tati coming out and saying she struggled with addiction and all of that. Good for you, girl. I feel you. I struggle with addiction as well. Tati Beauty. Grabbing my CL powder brush and dusting it the rest of the face. I like this powder. It's a very thin powder, very finely milled. Um, gives me like a natural finish. And this brush from CL, the dual sided brush. It's everything. Talking about benefit, I'm gonna bronze the skin up with Hula Caramel. I'm going in with the Morphe A21 brush. I love the finish of this bronzer. I love the color. It is like a neutral color. It's beautiful on my skin. And you can build it up. Look at that. Ugh. Look at it. It's super smooth. This powder is just perfection. This bronzer is perfection. The undertone just goes with my skin tone very well. And it's like airbrushed. Oh, she's beautiful. She beautiful. She beautiful. Looks like I've just been chilling in the sun. The Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil. I played with a little bit. It's a chunky pencil. Um, but this one I've been enjoying a little bit more. I'm trying to get into brow pencils. This is the precisely my brow pencil in the shade 3.5 neutral medium brown. Looks like this. Spoolie on one side, which I'm going to go into the brows real quick. My face has been breaking out, yo. Oh. And then a uh, tiny little like brow pencil situation. What I'm going to do with this is just fill in some areas where I feel like I need a little more help. Totally just like missed my brow. <laughs> my brow, yo. That's funny. The fluff up brow wax. Amazing. I've used two of the small little 100 point perk from Sephora. But it's a wax. And just makes your brows fluffy. Fluffy. Fluffy and... um. Great lasting power, all day, sweat proof. So I just throw them in there. Look at that. Gives you fluffiness, some structure, great lasting power. It could make the spoolie a little smaller, but I think that's fine. That's just nitpicking. Y'all remember Pure Cosmetics? They did the Barbie collaboration. Well, you know, everybody collabed with Barbie. Uh, Barbie, they did the Raw Beauty Christie collaboration. F her. She don't like gay people. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, Pure. They did the Trolls collab. Yeah, that type of stuff. They sent me a little package. PR package. These are their skin perfecting powder. Yeah, they sent me two shades. And then their brush. Matte blush uh, adds a natural flush of color to the cheeks. With its skincare infused, satin soft, never flat matte finish. A buildable blush coverage complements every skin tone. They have two shades. Uh, the peach one and then berry one. I'll show you the berry one. I'm going to give this to my friend. Look at this packaging, though. It is beautiful. It's called Blushing Act, Matte Blush, and Berry Beautiful. 
beautiful. So it does have a mirror. And look at that swirl. Like, ah, oh, that marble effect. And this is like acrylic. Ooh, that smells sweet. That smells like a black a mile. Y'all remember a black a mile? All right, and this one's the one we're going to go in with, which is called Pretty and Peach. It might go with this cool tone look. We'll see. We'll see. So it's the same compact. Same compact. Mirror. The blush. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Here's the brush. The complexion. Oh, no. Blurring powder brush. A uh, smartly tapered blush, ideal for dusting on blush, bronzer, or highlighter. It's a synthetic brush. Okay. I was playing with it. Well, not playing with it. I was feeling it. It feels a little cheap. I'm not going to lie. Like, this feels like it's... A, and this is like a 20 something dollar brush. It feels like it could be like a five buck, a five buck brush. <laughs> I think this is the type that you Mmm. That smells good though, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I should have went with went in with a cool tone blush. It's okay. It is a little dusty. It's kick up. Mmm. She's pretty. It looks healthy. Okay, the Maybelline Lifter Liner. This is an 03 Playa. It has a little cap. I'll take that little thing off later. It looks like a pencil. Oh, it's like a cinnamon shade. Okay, hold on. Let's get into this other product first. A little bit of blush, a healthy little splat of blush. <laughs> yeah, it does look healthy looking, like a little flush of color. Let's switch to the BK Beauty A507 brush. This is the type of brush I like for blush. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could see it. It's buildable. It has a nice natural like finish to it on my skin. Probably a little more matte, but it looks more natural on my skin. I like it so far. It looks pretty. All right, let's throw on some setting spray. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Three Second Setting Mist. It's intense. Don't breathe when you're applying it. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's intense. It's abrasive. And yeah. Shake it a little bit. All over for a few seconds. Three seconds, I think. Woo! Alright, I want to throw on this Give Can't Stop, Won't Stop Staring Mascara. It is getting a little old, so I definitely want to use it up. So, let me throw it on real quick and see what it's giving. Alright, this mascara is not performing like it used to. It's old now. I need a new one. It's clumpy. Uh, it does separate the lashes, but... And the the shade of black, it's like jet black. You know what I mean? I love the applicator. It's a beautiful wand, but... It has a little star at the end of it, at the tip of it. Skinny, rubber, long, 
start the end of it. You know what I mean? Easy to get. It was hard to reach hairs. But the formula is just not like I remembered it to be. Okay. This I'm truly excited to finally use because I haven't tried it on the face yet. I've swatched it and that's it. This is the Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Highlighter. Yeah, Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter in Pretty Pearls. This is the first shade. It says 01. Look at that gorgeousness. Ouch. Ouch. I have my Singe Beauty Highlight Brush. And I'm going right in. Ooh, it is a little powdery. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Very fine. Look at that. Oh, she's gorgeous. I'm into it. I like the shade, man. It's a beautiful shade. Like a pearl, iridescent. Looks wet. Grabbing my BK Beauty A504 to get in my inner corner. Just throwing a little in there. It's super brightening. Yeah, this mascara is just it needs to it needs to be decluttered. I need to get a new one. I don't know what's going on with Give. I hope they're not closing shop. I actually reached out to them and I asked them, are they closing? No, I said are they are they leaving Sephora? I said as of now, we have no word. I was like that was suspicious. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. That's how I like my highlighter to look. Wet and ethereal. Beautiful. Oh, it's, I don't feel like it's enhancing my texture. Blush brush is going over the highlight a little to blend it into each other, you know? Um, anyway, this is the Lip Gloss from Pacifica, their latest lip it, lippies. Gloss Plump Hydrate, a vegan gloss, bomb oil formula. <laughs> Two shades, Vanilla Bean and Jasmine Kiss. So let's see how they look. Okay, that looks gold. Ooh, that one's like clearish. Mm. Smells like vanilla. No, it smells sweet. Here's the applicator. Ooh, it looks like a hybrid liquid, um, lip product. That's what the vanilla one is looking like. I think they're going to be here. <laughs> yeah, that smells different. Oh, that's nice. Let's line the lips. Mm. Super soft. Wow. Mhm. Mm it's like a crayon. Wow. Wow, that glided on my lips super easily, you know? Let's use this lip lip brush to try to Blend out the lip lip liner. Yeah, it's like a cinnamon color. There you go. Blend it out a little bit. A little bit. 
All right, let's throw the Jasmine Kiss. Mm, that smells good. Mmm. Mmm, that feels like a lip oil. That has a lot of glow to it. Like a lip gloss. Look at that. It feels hydrating. Look at the lips. They look very healthy. Mmm. And just smooth. Glossy looking. Are we liking the little lip combo? Just dusting some finishing powder all over the face really quickly. This is Physicians Formula Butter Glow Pressed Powder. They have two shades. They're translucent, but one is a little deeper. This is the lighter one. Just dusting it around, you know? All right, there's the finished look. What are we thinking? Did it come together? I like some of some of the makeup. You know what I mean? I'm feeling some of it. That mascara is just flaking big time. The highlighter is beautiful. I don't like that concealer. <sighs> yeah, um, eyeshadow is beautiful. It's just light. As I like it. I like soft makeup. Soft everyday makeup. You know. This is a little more fun. But. Because of the green. It was like. Iridescent. Green-ish. Type of. Um, shimmer shade. You know what I mean? This needs to be decluttered. From Give. It's just old. And I don't like this. Concealer. I'll try to find it. A new home. Uh, what else? What else? The pure brush, I'm gonna try it with something else, a different product. The blush, she's light, but she's a little buildable. So when I want a little natural moment, you know what I mean? This is intense, so beware, beware, beware. <laughs> I'm liking the Lifter lip liner. Is this a twist up? Everything else, I'm into it. So I will try to link everything down below for you guys so y'all can check it out if you want to. Um, if you do choose to click on any of the links and you know purchase from any of the links, I appreciate it. I'm going to start back up with links and stuff like that because a lot of people are, are asking if they can support and stuff um, and want to know how they can purchase through, you know, to help me out. And, you know, there we go. Every little thing helps, you know what I mean? Everything goes back to my channel. Definitely check out the Nomad palette. Uh, you can find other videos with people doing some amazing looks. I'm very simple and basic, you know what I mean? But it's a beautiful palette. Uh, shout out to Nomad, they're always supporting me. So I want to show them some love, you know what I mean? But uh, definitely let me know down below if you enjoyed any of these products. Have you tried any of them? Let your boy know. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm out. Deuces.